This morning, there's word out of Iran where the dress code for women could be changing, bowing to months of pressure. ABC's Lama Hassan joins us with more. Lama, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. Well, after months of deadly demonstrations in Iran, this could potentially be significant and shows that the government is concerned. Iran's attorney general says that authorities have dismantled the country's religious police. They are the ones who enforce the Islamic dress code, and that includes the law that requires women to wear a hijab and cover their hair. Parliament and the judiciary are also reviewing those laws, but it's unclear at this point what and how much will change, if anything at all. What is clear is that wearing the hijab is still mandatory, but the religious police who are tasked with enforcing it will no longer be in charge of doing that for the time being. Now, this is important because you'll recall the wave of protests that swept through Iran started after the death of 21-year-old Masa Amini. She was arrested by the morality police for allegedly not wearing her hijab correctly. And that ignited demonstrations. They were led by women risking their lives, going out in force on the streets, ripping off their hijab and cutting their hair. And worldwide, we saw acts of solidarity. Now, one Iranian official says 300 people were killed, but observers say that that number is much higher. Protesters say this latest move to get rid of the morality police is not enough. They want all of their freedoms back, and they say that they will keep fighting for regime change with. All right, something to watch, Lama. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.